It's a simulator, but boy, it sure feels real. This is a 777-200 cockpit, the same as Malaysia Air 370. And we've set it up so we're doing exactly what they were doing at the time they were doing it. In other words, we took off from Kuala Lumpur about 45 minutes ago. We're now coming up on BTOD. This is a reference point here on this computerized map. BTOD is the last known point that the aircraft officially reported in before whatever happened happened. We're cruising at an altitude of 10,668 meters or 35,000 feet, and we're doing 287 knots, exactly what the airplane was doing. It's a night sky, it was a night flight. Let's talk about some of the important equipment here, the transponder. So much has been made about that. That is this rather, what looks like innocuous looking little device right here. It's crucial, located on the dashboard of the aircraft. And this is essentially Mitchell Casada, who's acting as pilot here. Why don't you tell me, what does the transponder do? Transponder sends the signals to the ground, lets the air traffic controllers know where we are, who we are, where we're going, where we came from, just all the pertinent information for the flight. Yeah. It's crucial. We can't stress that enough, Monita. Can you turn it off? Yes, you can. Let me show you how it's done. You've got the knob right here, three clicks to the left, and now the transponder is off. Essentially, that means that we're no longer transmitting who we are, but on radar, we would still appear, right? Mitch? Yes. <laughs> you'd have a basic return. It would just be a blip, but there would be no information. So you'd have nothing to identify the actual aircraft. And you wouldn't turn this off. I mean, normally there is no way in flight you would turn this off. Absolutely not. Yeah. One thing I should point out about the transponder is that there's another way to use it, Monita, and that's in the case of, say, a hijacking. It is possible to take this and enter in a specific code. I'm not gonna enter the code, but I'll show you how it's done. You enter a code, and now you're automatically transmitting, without going on the radio, that you have been hijacked. And Mitchell, what happens on the ground? They're gonna challenge that. They're gonna um, uh, call you up and ask you to confirm that that's the case. That's a very serious situation, so you're gonna get an immediate call within about two, three seconds. And, uh, These are alarm bells that exactly. are going off essentially That's to right. say, hey, wait a minute, there's a problem. Yeah. As far as we know, that signal was never sent. As far as we know, there wasn't a challenge given to when the transponder shut down. We don't know why. One last thing, could the plane be taken off course? Yes, it can. We're on automatic pilot right now, but if I did take it off, shut that down. There's an alarm that goes off, so nothing is done without those on board knowing it's happening.